All right, here's my 2013 B8 Audi S4. And it has an interesting problem we're gonna to try to solve today. The problem is that the door flap actuator is failing. So it works fine when the it's locked, doesn't open. But when it's unlocked, still doesn't open. But if you keep pressing the unlock button, it'll work, it'll unlock. And then it'll work again and again. So it's on its way out. So I got a new one of these from China and it took a little while to get here. But now that it is, let's uh, let's see how hard this is to install. I, I didn't see a good video anywhere online, so hopefully uh, this won't be too bad. And maybe I won't even have to replace this red clip because it just comes out. We'll see what happens. All right, let's see what we're working with. Uh, I got a T20 Torx and a little screwdriver. Pull this out. Okay, and we're done. No, I'm kidding. So now, hopefully this thing comes out. Ugh, it's so nasty. How does this come out? Ah, let go. Ugh, I'm gonna put some gloves on. Yeah, maybe a trim tool? I'm gonna grab on this guy. The whole thing should come out. <gasps> That's no good. All right, now we really gotta get this thing out. <clears throat> okay. Whew. I'm still recording. Got that out. So now, we gotta get this thing out. Just like that. Unplug this. And try not to lose it. Okay. How about, we're gonna reuse this, this red piece. But I don't want to lose the connector or the red piece. So let's double check, make sure what I've got matches up. It looks like it does. So get rid of that. So I'll put a affiliate link on Amazon where I bought this. So I'm just going to unclip this. Comes off really easily. Because there's nothing. We never pulled this this orange line so there should be no reason why this plastic line can't be reused push it over and it snaps in okay so that's done don't need that piece anymore new piece is plugged in oh boy Well, this isn't supposed to come out. It's supposed to stay. So we might be getting in the trunk anyway. In the meantime, let's feed that back. Okay. So now, all there is to do is to push this back in. Like so. Okay, new idea. So, I think we've got to go in forward first, but we can't attach this until later. So, 
So we got this goes in here and then we hide this in here. Good Lord. And then this goes in. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, we see. Don't do that. Okay, it didn't fall too far. Good thing there's this orange thing. Alright. Alright. It did not disappear forever. So that's the good news. I guess I can attach this at this point. Okay. My helper, hey buddy, he says you're an embarrassment. Let's try that again. Okay, so we got that. All right, so let's try this. So this appears to kind of snap in here. Let's be smart. Maybe that'll fit. Maybe it'll stay. He Hawk is really upset. Almost there. Almost there. We're in. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Put the screw back in. Gas cap on. Okay. It, lo it closed, it unlocked. Locked it, won't unlock. Unlocked it, here it is. Yay! Yay! It works! And uh, only slight issues with, with this process, but it is really easy. Um, not gonna really worry about that, that line. If it fails again, you can get into the trunk still and pull out panels, but not gonna worry about it. Doesn't look like the original one was tied in anyway, and we never had to use it. So hopefully this uh, Chinese knockoff will uh, will last, you know, seven, eight more years, like the first one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> sorry, 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 it was a a little it was a little more entertaining than I thought it would be. You know, it's probably a five minute operation if you. Uh, if you kind of know what you're doing and, and not just winging it like I was. All right, thanks for watching guys.